backers of Russian opposition leader Alexei Navalny are calling for more, pro more protests tomorrow to protest his jailing in Russia. Moscow police detained thousands of protesters yesterday. Video shows several violent arrests and massive crowds protesting the rule of President Vladimir Putin. Navalny, as you know, was locked up when he returned to Russia after recovering from an assassination attempt. Charlie Daggett is following this story from London and joins us to discuss. Charlie, can you tell her the protests making a difference? Well, Gail, they are making a difference because they're getting under President Putin's skin, as we understand it. Now, this morning, we've learned that uh, Navalny's spokeswoman may be placed under house arrest, one of several high-profile arrests in recent days, but it did nothing to discourage protesters from turning out. Despite threats of jail time, by the tens of thousands, they defied government orders to stay off the streets for a second weekend in a row. Violent clashes breaking out, running street battles pitched against Russian riot police determined to crack down on protesters by brute force if necessary. Monitoring groups say more than 5,000 demonstrators have been detained, even more than in last week's protests including Navalny's wife, Yulia, ordered to pay a fine of about $265 for taking part in demonstrations. The U.S. Secretary of State, Antony Blinken, condemned the persistent use of harsh tactics against peaceful protesters and journalists. The Russian Foreign Ministry dismissed that as crude interference in Russia's internal affairs, accusing Washington of trying to destabilize Russia. There have been demonstrations in the past, but these are different, says Samuel Green, director of the Russia Institute at King's College. A difference in tone and emotion, right? Um, I think that the previous waves of, of, of protest um, were often about how Putin was running the country, right? Um, whereas this protest is very much about um, uh, getting Putin out. A defiant Navalny appeared at a court hearing last week, accusing the Kremlin of blatant lawlessness meant to scare him and his followers. He blames President Putin directly for the Novichok poisoning that nearly cost his life, which Putin's spokesman has repeatedly denied. Now, tomorrow, Navalny faces another hearing, which could see his suspended uh, sentence turned into real jail time and the possibility of two and a half years behind bars. Tony? Wow. Charlie Daggett of Forest in London. Charlie, thank you very much.